and to use your platform to address you know identity and diversity so how I intend to use this platform is obviously by sharing my story, mm -hmm. bringing awareness into it, which I feel like already by my name, it yeah. has brought a lot of awareness into this. But I don't want it to come in a very negative way because um, as much as I'm still fighting for my identity, I am still proudly South African and I'm still proudly Nigerian. Okay. And um, Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Are you okay? How's I am today been? Amazing. It's been a great day. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the day. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, um, when you woke up this morning, how were you feeling? I was um, feeling excited. I remember this year, earlier this year, I said to myself, I need to go to Nigeria. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I need to go. So, okay. the fact that I spoke it into existence and it's happening, so love, it's, a, it's a great it's a great start. I love this manifesting. <laughs> I love the manifesting. It's fantastic. So, how excited are you to be here? Like, what vibes are you getting? I am excited. It really feels nice to um, feel appreciated, the mm -hmm. love, the warmth. <laughs> The support, everything is really incredible. How do you think that your like diverse background would help you in this Miss Universe competition? I think it's going to help me a lot because I will make a very powerful impact. There's a lot of people who are just as diverse as I am. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want us to live in a society or community where we are sidelined or excluded because of the diverse background that we have. I want us to still be included, to be celebrated, mm -hmm. to be appreciated loved and accepted so i think just me being here i'm not only representing myself but a lot of people that see themselves in me that are very diverse in their culture how do you plan to use your platform to address you know identity and diversity so how i intend to use this platform is obviously by sharing my story mm -hmm. bringing awareness into it which i feel like already by my name it yeah. has brought a lot of awareness into this but i don't want it to come in a very negative way because um as much as i'm still fighting for my identity i am still proudly south african and i'm still proudly nigerian okay. and um it's really okay to be diverse yeah and I just want people to see that good side and for us to actually start acknowledging it and accepting it. Is inclusion your platform or do you have another platform that you're going to run on if you win the crown? Just inclusion for now. I think that is something that we are still struggling with yeah. right now. And I feel like if we want a better future, a better tomorrow, we all need to be inclusive mm -hmm. and allow everyone to shine. Because I feel like there's enough space for everybody to shine and there is enough space at the table for everyone to, to achieve their dreams and their goals. Okay, cool. So um, do you have any points or ideas of how you are going to use inclusion to bring about change in the world? I think for me, I just want to first start off by teaching people how to value diversity find your values mm -hmm. and also letting them know that we should celebrate our differences because yeah. I am different yeah. you are different do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So I want us to also celebrate that because when we start to celebrate how different we are and how diverse we are we start to become open-minded and we see okay fine you are different I'm different but we still meet somewhere yeah. and I feel like it's just a very good way for us to build a very strong community and to be united as one yeah. so yes if you could meet anybody in the world, dead or alive, for so that's Chidima's story for you. That's a wonderful interview she granted just as she stepped into the wonderful country Nigeria. As much as she's fighting for her identity, she's still proudly South African and Nigerian. That's what so many ignorant people don't want to hear. This lady is st stating the obvious that she's proudly South African and Nigerian. But they are telling us now the Department of Home Affairs have cancelled her identity. She has no ID. She's this. She has no ID and she left South Africa and arrived in Nigeria. And the contest, Miss, Miss Universe you know, contest in Nigeria will still finish and she will land in South Africa. These guys are funny. You see, this, the, the, the interview, you see her words, the whole thing she's saying is clear. She's going to share her story, not the negative side, as much as she's diverse in nature. She's saying she doesn't want anybody to come to her shoes because already these ladies have been facing the heat backlashes here and there. 
she wants to use her platform if should she win miss universe nigeria she wants to use her platform to encourage women that because you are diverse you know you, your parents both parents are from different countries that shouldn't stop you or hold you down or discourage you from going about to achieve whatsoever thing you have a mind to achieve so she's saying the diverse uh, because she has a diverse background she is preaching in, uh, inclusiveness she wants people to be included not excluded she's appreciating the fact that she came to nigeria and nigeria welcomed her you know uh, gave her platform to rise which south africa uh, denied her south africa denied her of that right that's her right to compete but they said no her mother is uh, from mozambique her father is nigerian she is going to use her platform to preach unity and love because you have a diverse background that should not hinder you from participating in whatsoever thing you want to participate in look at the just paris olympics that was concluded a few days ago do you know that so many you know athletes that represented different countries just entered there just two years ago three years ago and they they they, they were allowed to represent these countries canada germany and so many others what is even in south africa that maybe you have to stay in South Africa. Someone commented on my video that in South Africa, you, that uh, the Mia Lerus, the current Miss, Miss Universe South Africa, that she, her parents have spent more than 300 years in South Africa. And that's why she was able to represent South Africa. Can you imagine that? So, you know, well, South Africa, before you become a South African, you must spend 100 years or 200 years if your parents both parents none of your parents none of your both parents are south african but for you to become a citizen of south africa you must spend 100 or 300 years to become a citizen what what sort of rubbish analogy or, you know or explanation is that so this lady is preaching inclusiveness and look at how she's careful with her words not those that will just come in and start speaking you know anyhow you know they they, they start speaking gibberish you look at the way she's very careful with her choice of words. She, she's saying as much as she's still fighting her identity, she's still fighting her identity. She stated the obvious that she's South African, proudly South African and proudly Nigerian. So those who want her to come and say, okay, sorry, I am no longer South African, can just go and cry. Get over it. This lady is still South African and uh, a proud one for that matter also a nigerian and, and also a proud nigerian she said she, early this year you know we never know what can happen she thought of coming to nigeria and that just happened it seems that she spoke that word and it came to existence she's in nigeria not just visiting nigeria she's now in a participant at uh, the ongoing miss universe contest in nigeria so i don't really know why so many of these uh, our friends are so bitter you know, I don't know what is making them to be so jealous or envious of Nigerians. Nigerians are enterprising. Nigerians, you know, are industrious. Nigerians are hardworking. Nigerians are smart. No matter how you shake it or weigh it, Nigerians are ahead of other Africans. When it comes to any competition, is in business and sports, anywhere, Nigeria, Nigeria remains the giant of Africa. I keep telling some South Africans that are coming to my video to comment that, look, we have ShopRite in Nigeria, the biggest shopping mall in Nigeria, maybe in Africa. They are doing well. We have MTN, we have DSTV, we have so many other companies that are owned and run by South Africans, and most of these companies are managed by South Africans. Thousands of South Africans are in Nigeria, but you will see Nigerians disturbing them, closing down their shops, accusing them, you know, uh, cooking up stories of crimes and all of that against them. But you see some of them that don't have proper data of this information. They will tell you South Africa, no, they, do we have South Africans in Nigeria? There are a lot of thousands of South Africans in Nigeria. At least I've mentioned Suprite, MTN, DSTV, and so many other companies that are owned by and run by South Africans in this country. And they are, they are allowed, allowed to thrive. But just flip the table. We have, uh, we have the videos, we have the records of South Africans disturbing Nigerians and their businesses with fake, fake, fake 
concocted stories of crimes and all of that. So Chidima Vanessa Adichina is saying that as much as she's still fighting her identity, identity she's proudly South African and also a Nigerian. A diverse background is what she's going to use to preach to other women who might be in her shoes in the future that they, despite the backlash, the criticism and whatever, you should still remain focused and resolute to achieve your goal. And I can tell you, this lady is going far.